down, kids. Go down. Good morning, good morning, everybody. We are back. The show is called TBR SF Show. It is myself, the sober boys, Walafatsi. I'm with Saddam, but uh, Saddam has got a lot of problems. There's load shading, there's quite a lot happening. I don't know. Um, maybe you'll we'll try to log in. Um, let's see where I'll be able to log in. But if he doesn't log in, let's let's continue. Um, today, I want us to discuss something different. Not necessarily different. I think it's the order of the day. Uh, we heard what Gavin Hunt said in the, in the latest interview that he had uh, in terms of what made him to uh, leave Kaiser Chiefs. So uh, I want us to discuss whether uh, Gavin Hunt uh, was candid or it's, it's a sour grapes. All right. So I don't know. You have your own opinion. I also have my own opinion. And then, um, yeah, so, you know, he talks a lot of things, but we'll talk about that. But uh, I'm sure you're aware that uh, Banyana Banyana were playing uh, last night and then they did well. They won 2 0, which made them eligible to qualify now for the AFCON uh, tournament. And then I remember <laughs> Banyana Banyana, they are the defending champions. So it could have been a, a disappointment for them not to qualify. Saddam, I hope you're able to log in. I can see that uh, your mic is on, but I can't see your face. So yeah, I hope you are able to come in. Um, uh, yeah, Saddam, um, as I was saying, um, last night Banyana Banyana played and then they did us proud they qualified and then we're going to see them in the final somebody was saying banana banana better than bafana bafana i don't know about that argument <laughs> uh, maybe it's an argument for another day but um, it's a fact banana banana they've done extremely well and then we are happy to see them proceeding to uh, the finals and then uh, saddam did a very good job in terms of mobilizing support to go and watch the game. He told me that he slept this morning around about one o'clock. Saddam, welcome to the show and your mic is not on. Just put your mic on so that you greet the viewers and then we get started. Because you are complaining about load shading, so it will catch you now. No? Saddam? Uh, your mic is not on, Saddam? Hello? Yeah, just greet the viewers. Let's roll into it because you are complaining that there may be load shedding just now in your area. So let's let's get started. Just greet the viewers. Okay, morning everyone. And uh, yourself, comrade, we done it and uh, we just have a load shedding. But uh, thank you to be on the show. All right, uh, Saddam, we saw that Banyana Banyana, they won two names. And then, uh, which uh, makes them qualify for the for the next round, which is quite good. Um, those are good news. And then, um, I don't know, you were there. Maybe you can share something uh, that happened uh, uh, as far as the game uh, concerned. 
if you can say quickly, they won 2-0, there is the score, and then against Burkina Faso. <coughs> now, I can hear you now, your, your sound, there you are. Yeah, they won 2 nil, which is good. Um, tell us. Yeah, uh, thanks, comrade. Uh, I think uh, the girls, they make us uh, proud because we win. You remember, uh, first leg was 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> now, yesterday, we win 2 nil aggregate. So, yeah. it's, it's 2-1. So, they make us proud. So, and supporters, I'd like to thank you to everyone, mm -hmm. Super Pen, who was doing the activation. I started on Thursday doing the activation, especially the area of... Uh, so on the CDB, mm -hmm. or open and whatever. So then it counts something. The crowd was better because, mm -hmm. you know, it was during the week, like Monday. But anyway, mm -hmm. we try to even bring the school children and mm -hmm. uh, everything was okay. Uh, let me tell you, I was very impressed and shocked when the president told me, when I go inside the stadium with Mamajo, he told me that, Saddam, this is your game. Mamajo yeah. asked why. He yeah. said, no, the one was mobilizing. So that's why I said this is your game. We even talk about the uh, Morocco trip and against uh, Ivory Coast. So it might mm. happen that we're going to go there. But the main point is we all win. Everyone was there. Everyone was not there. But I know you should pray for them. In the, in the name of the game, we all get happy. Thank mm. you very much for everyone who participated, especially our uh, uh, member. You know we have somebody called... Uh, Errol from Sapa. It was about mm -hmm. two months. He was there. Mm -hmm. Now he's a communication member there. He worked with us. He was working as Castle. Mm -hmm. Now he's mm -hmm. an international team. That's why we sit down and have a meeting. Mm -hmm. and suggest to make an activation. That was a good for that. It was end of the day, we got something. The main point is to qualify. Mm -hmm. Which is good, man. Uh, the lady who scored the goal, one of the goals is Linda. Ne? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then uh, the score was two nil, and then uh, I yes. saw you with your supporters of Sansui. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. So um, yeah, you guys did a, a very good job, a sterling job. And then I'm gonna share some of the pictures of you with all the people there. Uh, here are the supporters of Sansui, and then um, yeah. yeah, is it Sanaso? Sanaso. Then oh, where, yes. where where does Sansui come in there? Sorry? Sansui, where does it come in? Sanaso is our national supporters group. We no, no, I understand Sanso. that uh, that one. I'm saying it's Sansui. Is it Sansui support, uh, uh, um, supporting you financially? Sansui. Yes, we, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, I was talking about Sansui. Are they still yeah, supporting now, you guys? Yeah, they do support us, even the mm -hmm. Sasol. The suffer, they assist us. Okay, uh, as we can see, Sasol in the background, there is Linda, mm -hmm. the one of the scorers of that game. And then uh, here is yourself and uh, uh, Dr. Danny Jordan and Mama Joy. So it was a, a great, a great evening, and thanks very much. And then we are looking forward to Banyana Banyana to make us proud. Saddam, I want us to discuss this one. Was, um, I'm sure you have seen what Gavin Hunt has said. He complained bitterly. I don't know whether should I say complain bitterly. He said the promet Kaiser Chiefs, it's it's liquor, all right. And then I don't know whether was he a villain or was he candid about saying that, or is it a bitter uh, bitterness from his side because he could not keep the coaching position at Chiefs. Um, so he was complaining. He even talked about during the time of teenage, that teenage will finish about 12, uh, 12 uh, bottles of liquor, but he would play extremely well. Ace in was, uh, he, loved, he loved his booze, but he was playing well. And then he said, he went further to say, um, he, he doesn't mind to allow his players to go and drink as long as they'll play. So what do you think? Was he candid? Was he frank? Or is it somebody who's bitter? No, to okay. me, I think that was a bit of sabotage and it was bitter. It was not nice a professional coach to say that on public. 
is supposed to just make sure that he's also part of that why I'm saying that because he was a leader. He's supposed to talk to the players. Why this happened during his time? Because some, if someone that was at Kaiser Chiefs, he knows why he didn't say, okay, behind the scene, let me mm. make a leadership skills and talk to the players, mm. whatever. Mm. Mm. All the drinking we know, Guma uh, Vizela, they were drinking, everyone. Mm. Uh, mm. Mm. They used to be that machine, bring him back while he was disappear and mm. score mm. the goals. Mm. We know about that one, but now, it's the minus of the coach. They must monitor those players because as supporters, we can't just go behind the scene and say, players were doing this. It's the one, it's the father. Is a mm. of the player, the players and and, and coach. And he play. said he said himself, he doesn't mind for players to go and drink. <laughs> I found that very interesting. He doesn't mind uh, for players to go and drink as long as they play. He also spoke about Nshambi, uh, the player that he groomed from vets, who may think that he wasted his talent. Uh, the boy played for Al Ahly. And then at some point, he bought booze to a tune of 45,000 rand. How can this happen? How can this happen? So now, uh, um, I don't know whether it was a question of being frank, giving us what is happening, why the problem that Chiefs... Remember, even Melissa Fintech has just said, at Kaiser Chiefs, there is no that comradey. All right? He has also issued his statement that the problem at Kaiser Chiefs, there is no comradey. He said, if you look at Sundowns, if you look at Man City, you could see that there is camaraderie. The players are there for each other, even if they are not playing. But at Kaiser Chiefs, that is not the problem. Is this now coming to, to show what is really happening at Chiefs? Is it this really telling us that the problems are deeper than what we thought? Because uh, uh, coaches have been blamed and so on, but there are problems. And now if you have good people or not good people, uh, people of high profile like Governor Hunt and say, you're absolutely right. Why he didn't stop it? Why he didn't say it while he was there? I don't know whether he was saying it because he wanted to be frank of what is happening in our football. I wonder whether himself, because he was a good player during his time, was he drinking and playing? I don't know. What's your take? <clears throat> no, I think you're right when you say it to say that when he was there. But to me, it's a little bit difficult for him to come now when the things are bad like that. Maybe mm. to me, it's like someone who put the, uh, what do you call the, the petrol on the fire. Mm. Now, let's leave it that one. To me, I won't go deeper, but I don't think that what he was telling people uh, is good to go on the public. You know, that one we have to leave it because mm. he was there. If it was somebody who was not there, it's like, when we hear last time, when they put the video, the, uh, 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 the picture of uh, Mugwena from, from Super Sport to Sundown, they yeah. say he's a drunken master and not one. Yeah. Those things we mm. can see. But no, not, not Mugwena. Be, uh, not Mugwena. Be careful. It was Mbuli and Jali who were alleged. Yes, it was, it was Mbuli and Jali. Yes. It was mm. moving around the social media and everything. But mm. myself, I think it's not good for that. It's mm. like me yesterday. After the game, after we do the uh, the road show, those people yeah. you see them inside, yeah. they're not allowed to go inside because they are uh, the people that I was waking them. I'm a mm. president of Sanas. When we work, they ask me, hey man, Salam, Renyori, I'll give them water. Mm. But uh, when we finished like last night, I said to them, you've done a good job. Let me tell you, if you want something, drink, drink it. But what happened? I can't just go to the public and say, yes, last night we celebrate, that's why we come late, because mm, what was mm, no, mm. I'm the one who's the leader. I must, mm. I must control them, guys. When we are on the duty, we must do this one, because you've done a good job. Mm, so mm, I want to mm. appreciate uh, everyone. Don't be scared. Just mm. get something in zip. We want to qualify, but that is not going to happen every day. Because, uh, we, I'm not allowed to let mm. them to drink. So mm. I can't go to the public and say they drink. No, it was just happiness and celebrated last night. But him, I don't think it was good for him. Maybe he still have a pain. Because uh, when he left Chips, he left without uh, finishing his, his term. 
So mm-hmm. maybe it's not like that. But to me, I don't want to go deeper because uh, the chief, they were dealing with him, maybe that bad. That is a bit of sabotage when I think. It's not about educating players, no. Mm-hmm. I always say players must respect their job, mm-hmm. protect their talent. But the coach is the one who must monitor everything. Yeah, you know, uh, he, he, he went further to say, uh, insinuating that he was sabotaged at Chiefs. He said that when the, the mistake, he, he admitted to this, he said the mistake that he did, he allowed himself to be given personnel. He said he should brought his personnel. He said he, he, he had to use people who were there, uh, who have been with five coaches before him, and then at some point he would feel isolated because all these people would talk the same language against him as one. So maybe well uh, there, we need to give him credit that he admitted that that was his mistake to allow. Just like Peter says, I'm not gonna uh, go to a team and then be given a, a, a supporting staff. I'm gonna bring my own supportive staff. So that's the trend that is going. Kenny Nimak also came out and said, um, <coughs> very unprofessional for those people who leak that information about uh, colored issues, um, drinking and all that. He said it was very unprofessional. It's something that should have been dealt with at, uh, at the boardroom level, you see. So, and then it was not even supposed to come out and then uh, uh, be known in the public, you know? So do you agree with yeah, I've got, I've got something. To, I've got something to tell you yeah. in the public, in the viewers. Yeah. Let me open the can, can of the road and say, now I'm going to say something. Yeah. When he arrived at Kesa Chips, yeah. he supported us, even myself. I put on the Twitter, social media, welcome, because we love him. We know he won many trophies, mm. uh, especially. Let me tell you something. Mm. When, you are, when you are a coach, mm. you are the one who must work hand in hand with the players because you, you get paid because of those players you work with them. Mm. Now, let me tell you what I hear myself mm. About, mm. about him. I hear about the, somebody, the players, I won't mention the name, the player said, I told the player, what is happening now? It looked like there's a two groupies, this one, what happened? Me, mm. I was asking the individual player. He said, you remember Chiefs was banned from people not buying the players? Yes, yes. Now, it is. Now is the time when uh, Gavin was there. Gavin mm. told the players, he told the players, you players, you are lucky because uh, uh, FIFA does not allow us buying players because we ban it. But he said himself, you people, all of you, if the ban FIFA end up, I'm going to get the new players, you're going to go all out. Mm-hmm. You can't say that to the players, because now mm-hmm. they're going to say, all right, because all of our runa, yeah. They can do something in the field of play because you point them. You <laughs> say, <laughs> yeah, you don't want some yago. Yeah, uh, 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 people, uh, we are no longer going to be there. Now yeah. it's a uh, uh, three group. Mm. group yeah, so called, I'm sorry, so called Makalat. Our group is yeah, so called legend. Our group is yeah, so called Bad Hangon. Now it's a true group in one. Mm. And mm. he couldn't control this group. He mm. keep on saying, "Don't worry about the part." Just the rapid. And at that time is when Chiefs was going to what is it? To Kev area mm. for finally mm. before Azar goes in. That mm. thing that he talk. Players mm. they can go in the field and sabotage and say, "Oh no, we're going to we're going to make it because we're going to go to one, two, three. We're going to go win the Kev and end of the day table." You can't say to a wife. Yeah, you don't cook nice. Uh, yeah, papa, yeah. You, have to to. <laughs> you must be careful. You that don't get that say now. I get, I, I, how do you turn it into all upside down? You don't get that say. Yeah, we don't get that say. You don't get that say. You don't get that say. It's going to act the other way around. Okay? Yeah. Because I see you know she can do this one is wrong. She can make you happy in this one. That's why. That's why I said to him. He also wrong to say that. He must lead by example and say, guys, uh, let's work together, you know, people mm-hmm. been us. Mm-hmm. let's push, and then we say, now we point and spread, you guys, <laughs> you, are, you are here, the money, the buy, the door is open, you left. Mm-hmm. So, Uri, where now we are going, Yena caused the division, as your response yeah. to what he said. He caused the yeah. team to be divided into three. 
So that is why you had uh, players from overseas grouping themselves. I mean, foreigners grouping themselves. You also had players colored of uh, color of colored origin grouping themselves and and locals. Am I am I right hearing you there? Those were three groups. Yeah, so yeah, I didn't hear you because you are off one and I okay. didn't hear you. What you, you, you are saying, you are saying he's the one who led to three groups in the team. The, the, the foreign players and, and the so-called colored, okay, and, and, and Africans. Or the legend, the legend, legends, the legend. We got the, legend. the players mm. and the team. We got a legend on the yeah. and the legend and the so way to when you might say. Yeah. yeah. So that one is supposed mm. to call and broke the division and mm. make a good competition among the players. But he is still pushing them and say, You, you, he pointed the finger, you, mm. you kept you like it because one, two, three. He's mm. supposed to bring that he's the one. He he's should bring to harmony, he should bring harmony. Yes. So now you are right, or as a leader, you are supposed to bring Hamon. Now, are you telling me that Nseki too was also to bring Hamon? Because Nseki says there is no comrade. And when he says there's no comrade, it simply means there's no unity. Who must bring the unity? If, if, if uh, the, the chairman or junior down the sporting coach, Goes mm. to talk to the player. He's gonna say he, they interfere. Mm. He's the one. <clears throat> so he's the one. Whatever we leave you, whatever, whatever, is mm. the one who's supposed to sit down with the player until mm. they listen to him because he's the leader. He's mm. the one who must bring peace. Everything. He must know about the problem of the player. You players, mm. why you come late? What is happening at your place? What mm. happened? Mm. Uh, financial problem or uh, uh, family problem? He must attend that one. Let mm. me tell you, you know the player, the, the coach that I think he, he can uh, uh, educate the chiefs. Mm. Now, recently, I'm not talking about the pipeline or whatever. I'm talking about recently because people, they know Steve Combella, he was not winning, but end of the day, he was, he was the player was disciplined on his time. It's what I like about him because he used to ask a player, "What is your problem?" Mm. It's like a, a, a machine autograph. He used to say, "No, I know Jabule is not here, but he mm. might bring Jabule." He used to come to my place in Chambisa, Rubapala Commissary. Mm. Please find Jabule. Mm. Jabule comes in with Tinet Lada. Tinet Lada, yes, I know. Players are also human beings, so mm. they, they, maybe they do something like that, but bring them together. Mm. Build the relationship among the players, but you the one who are leader. You must use your leadership skills and guys. I don't want one, two, three. If they continue, call the chairman. These mm. players, I know we work together, but they don't want to listen to me. But mm. you can't leave it and leave it and, and just record and leave it and record. When you left, you just throw the, the, the missile on it. You make a bombshell. That is not good because you also have a mistake because you're supposed to lead. If you lead, we can see that you are a leader. Mm, mm. Like, now, now you are saying you are saying, uh, Gavin, it's because of bitterness. He did not stay at Kaiser Chiefs, so as a result, yes. he's bitter. That is why he's spilling the beans of what happened. Yes. Mm? Yes. All right, all right. <laughs> that's Saddam. That's Saddam. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you also have your your opinion out there. Was Kevin a, a Gavin Hunt candid with what is happening at Kaiser Chiefs? Or is a question of Gavin Hunt having uh, bitterness? Is that the result of sour grapes? So let me hear your opinion. And then thanks for you guys to continue to subscribe and comment and like the show. Before <coughs> I leave, let me just remind you that we are a financial company. We are currently working with the people who are government employees who are 55 years and above, but not yet 60 years old. And then all those people, if they leave before 60, GPF will definitely penalize them. And the penalty is 0.33% from the month of your resignation to the month of you reaching the age of 60. So it's a huge amount of money. And then, uh, but there is a way the government allows you to use the law to resign or leave, exit, resign for that matter or retire early as from the age of 55 without being penalized. If you want to know more about that, just look at our WhatsApp number. At the end of the show, drop us a WhatsApp. 
we'll definitely give you a call and then show you how it is being done. So that's it. So probably you've got an opinion. I don't know what is your opinion. Was Gavin Hunt candid or is Gavin Hunt bitter? Saddam, uh, you have said it loud and clear. Gavin Hunt is bitter. And uh, according to you, Gavin Hunt is the one who caused three division at Kaiser Chiefs. I want that one to be clear. There were foreigners, <clears throat> there were colored, there were legends. All right. So thank you very much, Saddam. What I like about you, you always, always available whenever we need you. Uh, uh, please just bid the viewers farewell. Saddam? Uh, thank you very uh, much to the viewers. And can you hear me now? I can yeah. hear you quite thank you clear, to the yeah. viewers. And yes, thank you very much to the viewers. Uh, well, well done to Anyana Manyana to qualify. And then also we are on Olympic. We must also qualify at Olympic. And the other thing is, thank you again and congratulations to uh, T.S. Galax and uh, Richard Bay to reach the yes, final. Of, yes, yes. We didn't mention that it's one. Very important. Yeah, uh, T.S. Galax, so, they've gone to the final in the Richard Bay, the Stelis. And then uh, I hope it's going to be a very exciting finals. And then uh, Man United, they've just announced that probably net, not necessarily announced. Next week, there may be an announcement of the 25% takeover or buying of uh, uh, Man United shares by Sir uh, Jim Ratcliffe. So we'll see. We are watching that space very well. Man United is a team that is limping. Uh, they're struggling a lot in the field of play. We don't know whether the players is because of the players and so on. And if you ask me, Saddam, I would like to say big up to Cristiano Ronaldo, because the guy is very clean. He doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. He just leave a, 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 an exemplary, exemplary life of being a, like a, me. Like a me. Sizing, and then, uh, you know, donating uh, blood. So, you know, uh, for that, Cristiano Ronaldo is my hero. You know, I'm a messy man, but if the guy does well, like you said, <laughs> you don't drink and smoke. And then Regal Fela Moon, Sisonke. Mamo, the last one, please. People must not be surprised when we support, we do the activity. I'm going to talk to the owner, Chies Kalax Sugade. We must do activation finally. Don't be surprised. As a president of Sanaso, I'm supporting all the PSL teams. All the teams. Yes, and now, but Chies Kalax. They're going to get our support. You know why? Because of Parker. That yeah. uh, trophy must be related to uh, uh, Parker after yeah. what happened. But don't tomorrow, Wara Wara Saddam. No, no. No, no, Wara Wara Association. <laughs> no, no, no. We need to support Steve yeah. Galax yeah. until the final, I mean, until they get the, the trophy. The trophy is going to Pumalanga. <laughs> so what about Stelis? What about Stelis? Uh, what about uh, man? Wait. <laughs> no, the president has announced that they are not going to be the Why are you not going to be the No, I'm going to be 45, 45. Good, good, fair enough. What are you? But I'm going to give... Uh, Nah, 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 nah. Go swear it, go swear it. Because of Chobiao Parker. Nah, 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 nah. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> thank you very much, Sada. Much appreciated. Thanks for your time. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, people. Uh, the beat goes on. I'm told that my sister uh, used to say that. So I would say tribute to her. Rekau Fela Sisonke. <laughs> yeah, open about yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. All right, Saddam. Much appreciated. Bye.